sequence. Prior to the repelling, the first repeller will step in front of the repel master on the ground and sound off with what brake hand he is and put his hand at eye level. Sound off with your brake hand. Right hand brake hand out, so suck that! The RMPI process starts with the inspection of the gloves and the repeller's helmet. The repel master then moves to inspect for a proper square knot and then moves to the front of the repeller to ensure the uniform top is tucked in, the snap link is in the proper position, and the correct amount of overhand layers are present. Squat! The repeller then squats for a visual check that the leg ropes are not crossed. Stand, turn, bend, put your brake in on your catalog. The repel master checks the half inches on the back side of the repel seat and does a sweep of the repeller's brake side, ensuring nothing is in any of the pockets. Once the repel master has determined the repeller has tied a proper seat and is safe to repel, the repeller will receive the seal of approval. <laughs> For you to better understand what Aristotle students have completed in phase three, direct your attention to the top of the tower, where you will see a demonstration of what Aristotle students look like the first time off the 64 foot tower, day one of phase three. of the aerosol course. Now let's focus on the future of aerosol and the graduates seated to your left and right. Twelve days ago, 295 soldiers arrived with the hopes of earning the aerosol badge. With us here today are 219 aerosol soldiers that have earned the right to wear the Covenant badge. Last night, the students completed the final graduation requirement, a 12-mile road march. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce today's guest speaker, First Sergeant McCombie, with 2nd 
Battalion, 11th Infantry Regiment. His biography can be found inside the graduation handout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome First Sergeant Comey.